So on May, it's May 27th through the 29th, uh, there are severe thunderstorms that hit various parts of the state of Ohio. There are tornadoes down in the Dayton metropolitan area and counties just south of Columbus and just east of Columbus. While locally, we imp were impacted with flash flooding, especially along Route 224 and uh, Ordman, Canfield, and even parts of Poland. So the governor of the state of Ohio, Mike DeWine, had uh, alerted you know, President Trump you know, requesting for federal assistance because there was massive amounts of damage in those 11 counties that he identified. So that's kind of where we ended up. So what's important to note with that is under the new Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, there is an opportunity for individuals to take casualty losses on their tax returns. But the only means of taking a casualty loss on your tax return is if the disaster took place within a federal disaster area. So when President Trump uh, listed the 11 counties in Ohio in his declaration, which included Mahoney County, it gave taxpayers the opportunity to at least explore having a casualty loss on their 2019 tax return. So on the individual side, under this declaration, uh, individuals in Mahoney County and the other 10 counties in Ohio, uh, those impacted are eligible for FEMA assistance under the FEMA Individual Assistance Program. So they could go on disasterassistance.gov or the Disaster Recovery Center uh, it's in Ormond at the Township Administration Building until, I think it's until further notice, uh, where they can apply for funds. And if they are awarded FEMA assistance funds, those funds are tax-free. Now, if they're denied or um, you know there's still a need there, individuals, businesses, and nonprofits that were impacted with the flooding in that same time frame, they're eligible for U.S. Small Business Administration loans. Uh, they're low-interest loans, and there's an opportunity there that. Um, if there's not other assistance out there, or, you know, struggle with insurance reimbursements, you can get some loans to help you with restoring your, your real estate, your personal property, inventories, equipment, anything along those lines that was damaged during the flooding. 